This is the only known albino orangutan on the planet. After a tip-off from the police, conservation bodies rescued this little orang who was being held captive in a village in central Kalimantan. Once she was actually removed, they discovered that she was only about five years old, which is really young for an orangutan. She should still be with her mother. So it's highly likely that she was separated under quite traumatic circumstances, which is unfortunately quite common for a lot of rescued orangutans. I was in a gas station and there was a bowl of fruit as I'm standing in line right next to where I was and on top was a banana that ran fairly straight and curved at the back and I picked it up and I'm looking at it and I'm studying this and I'm picturing where the wheels would go in the engine and the seats and I, I picture it driving down the road and start laughing. If there's one thing you know about sloths, it's that they're, well, slow. But that doesn't mean they're boring. In fact, sloths are one of the most extreme animals on the planet. And not just because they poop, only luggish actually comes with all kinds of benefits. For one, they save an enormous amount of energy. In fact, sloths use about 90% less energy than the average mammal, which is vital considering their diet is a low-energy snack consisting of leaves with a side of leaves. But that's not all. Their fur might actually save lives. Fungi in their fur have been shown to fight breast cancer cells, and they may also have properties for fighting malaria. So despite their slow pace, sloths are far from boring. Los Angeles City, and flashes of lightning are happening in the background. As the clouds are flashing, a mysterious creature that bears amazing resemblance to that of a dragon appears inside the cloud. Did you happen to see it? You most likely did not, so let's take another look at the video in slow motion. As you can see here, a dragon-like figure is plainly visible inside the clouds. Many theories have arisen attempting to explain the bizarre recurrence, with some people hailing it as proof of dragons, and others thinking it is proof of nothing more but video editing. This, in the end, is totally up for you to decide. Do you think this shows a real dragon caught on tape during a storm, or is it only computer-generated imagery? <laughs>
planet depends on the honeybee. Though we tend to think of bees as communal insects, in reality, nearly 90% of bees lead solitary lives. Most solitary bees nest in the ground and typically don't produce honey or beeswax. They're often stingless and generally harmless. A communal colony typically consists of three different kinds of adult bees. The workers, the drones, and the queen. The queen is chosen at random. From birth, she is exclusively fed a diet of royal jelly, which speeds her development. She then kills her competition and assumes her position on the throne. The queen's primary function is to reproduce, and at her peak, she may lay up to 1,500 eggs per day. A single queen bee can lay up to 250,000 eggs per year, and may lay up to a million in her lifetime. <laughs> There are about 17 different species of penguins of varying sizes, each with a different pattern of feathers and colors. Emperor penguins grow 4 feet or 1.1 meters tall and may weigh nearly 100 pounds or 45 kilograms. Something interesting about penguins is that they cannot taste their food, but they don't mind because they swallow their prey whole. Lots of people think pigs are dirty animals, but they're actually very clean. They like to live in cool, covered places, which helps keep them squeaky clean. But they've learned that mud is the best, easiest way to cool off if they get too hot. <laughs> Mr. 
Mysterious Nocturnal Hunters These unusual birds have captured our imaginations for centuries. Hooked bills and heads that can swivel around in almost any direction. Something interesting about owls is that they cannot move their eyes. If owls want to look at something that is not straight ahead of them, they have to turn their whole head. Finally, you are probably familiar with one kind of owl call, the hoot. But owls make an interesting variety of noises.